Welcome back to Dead Space. We've just arrived in engineering. We need to see what we can do here to correct the ship's problems because we're on a decaying orbit and going to crash into the planet soon. Control panel's just right up there. Let me explore this room first, though. Can you grab fire extinguishers? Ooh. I wonder if that, like, freezes enemies or does extra damage or... I don't know. Engineering log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple reporting. Christ, I still can't believe the Chief is gone. It's all fallen apart since the Captain died. Everyone down here is on their last nerve. We thought the rioting was the worst of it. Until those things came through the vents. Their faces. Fuck, those were my lunch buddies. Liz's friends. Old boyfriends. And out of nowhere, the engines are screwed. Primaries laboring, we're hemorrhaging fuel. Fuck if I know why. I'm taking Danvers to the fuel depot to fix it. Gotta keep the team focused or we'll crack. Temple out. Look at this cool holographic thing. I love the way it's glitching and kind of like moving, like jerking as it rotates. No diagnostic report, yes. Seeing you in the control room. Any news on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need to stabilize our orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. On it. Next thing is... Refuel the engines south and north. Yeah, do all the things. Do I have anything to sell? Anything new that there is to buy? Oh yeah, plasma cutter upgrade. Heat accumulator. Pulse rifle upgrade. Kinetic autoloader. Nothing to sell or buy at the moment. I suppose we could probably go this way as well. I guess it doesn't really matter which one we do first. Refueling the south engine or the... Was it the north engine? Was the other one? Let's just go with what they suggest. And I have a lot of ammo. I mean, it takes like a full magazine or two of anything to kill an enemy, so it's going to go pretty fast. But like, look at this. 67 shots of this. 250 shots of this. That's a new weapon. Oh, it's the saw blade launcher thing. I remember that. The Ripper. Hell yeah. In my mind, it's like Makita brand. It's just like a power tool. They uh, made a small modification to their circular saws. Look at that. Actually, you know what? Can I grab that? Uh, not that one specifically, but I wonder if I could grab the ones that I shoot. Ah, uh, right, we have to assign it to a quick slot, I think. Remote industrial saw. Wait a minute, there's a primary fire and then there's the alternate shot, which is to shoot the blade. So wait, what's the normal attack then? Is it like a melee weapon, basically? Like it just spins? I thought shooting it would be the normal attack. Alright, let's assign it. Okay, I'm just going to do a normal attack. Wait, what? Oh! The normal attack, like... Right, 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 right. Okay, now I remember how this works. The normal attack just, like, puts the blade out there, so it is kind of like a melee weapon, but it's, like... 
I don't know if it's being held there with our telekinesis or if the weapon itself is doing the levitating, but it just holds it out there and then you can use it like a melee weapon, but a little bit in front of you so you don't have to get super close to the enemy and only lasts for a little while. And if I just try to right button immediately, does it, yeah, it just straight up shoots it. But you can also put one out there and then shoot it. Okay. Just one more, bit of a waste, but I wanna see if I can pick it up. Uh oh, I think it just destroyed itself. I mean, look at the way it's jiggling around and you can hear it like it's a bit unstable. Feels dangerous. You gonna get up? Oh. Love the noise it makes. We need to go that way, so let's go here. Oh, it's the bathroom. Probably gonna be a dead end then. Security request retrieved. We need help down in engineering! Devers, get those wires off! I don't want to! I don't want to! Christ, Henderson, your teeth! He's pulling his teeth out! Just hold him! Where the fuck is security? Oh god! He's dead! No, he's alive. But he hit that sink pretty hard. His own teeth. Chief, what the hell is happening? I don't know. Cancel security request. Henderson needs the medical bay. And a shrink. Jesus Christ. Who put that in the toilet? In the bowl? Disgusting. No god. No fear. No god. No fear. Not. Notably not written in blood. But in... I don't know. Chalk or something? So we're meant to go here to the left, but forwards there's a... Oh, it looks like there's an upgrade bench and some other stuff. Let's go check it out. Cut off those legs. Oh, wow. Man, they take a lot. Weirdly enough, I killed them, but I didn't manage to sever any of their limbs. With a spinning saw blade of all things. I need a master override to be able to open what looks literally like a garbage can. Cannot determine clearance level. Master security override required. Yeah, I don't have any nodes. Autopsy report, Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig identifies the subject was junior engineer David Swenson. The subject was dismembered after falling into machinery, allowing So sorry. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> some postmortem spasms. The chest contains a yellow vial seen in other specimens. Seen this file react to dead or bioprosthetic cells. 
The dead tissue is absorbed, recombined, then reanimated. The bile shows genetic markers with human DNA and a growth on the walls. It's all connected to the marker from Aegis 7, but how? Dr. Kine studied the marker. Dr. Kine has vanished. Unless he's with the survivors on the mining deck. No rest easy now, David. I promise. End log. Found the autopsy location. Find Kine's mining deck hideout. It's the next step. Is it safe? I scribble next to it. No. Don't support the church. Innocent blood. I wonder how good this weapon is at keeping enemies away from me. It seemed like it was kind of pushing back that enemy that I just fought. So it kind of worked. Okay, managed to actually sever a foot that time. Yeah, it seems to be pretty good at pushing him back. Fuel preserves depleted. Main engines offline. No, oh, no. Oxygen recharge. I don't like that. Where does this all go? Oh, that's the control room. That's the place we just were. Kind of like the, the hub. Yeah, I like the level design in Dead Space, how you have these kind of like mini hubs that you keep coming back to until you move on. This is like the engineering mini hub. So while we take care of all the engineering stuff, this is our home and we keep unlocking shortcuts back to it. It's nice. Engine rooms locked. I'm sure we'll have to go there later. that do? Oh, let's do refuel the engines. Additional fuel required for engine restart. Oh, look at that thing. You can feel the weight of all of it. Hmm. 
No, 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 no. Oh, I thought I was backed into a corner. Oh, this is slow. I'm going to get attacked on here, aren't I? Is it going to be those baby things that shoot at me? Oh, look at the way the light lights up the fog. Not sure if I damaged myself there or not. Yeah, if you blow them up with an explosive, you don't really need to smush them to get their loot. The loot just pops out of them. by Jacob Temple, the engine problems aren't a malfunction. Someone shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves to hell and back. We just wasted an hour fixing them. Now we need to restart the south refueling station, but some jackass turned off the power and locked up the circuit breaker. No engines? We're gonna hit planet fall soon. What now? There's gotta be someone around here how to spare access card. Go see. Wait, you hear that? Never go! Restart that yet. Need the key card to get into the control room to unlock the thing. Oh, there's a fuel station key card. Jesus. Isaac. Damn it. Daniels? You made it. Thank God. After the bridge, we thought that. Glad to disappoint. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I've tracked down your rig. You're in engineering, right? I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help. Unlocking security card. Node, yes. Clearance confirmed. Oh. Great. So I have to choose to either turn off life support or lights to be able to turn on South Refuel Station. Um. Uh, I. 
as light. I love that they actually make you... Fuck me. Make you make that choice. Hello? Centrifuge working before restart. Someone really screwed with these fuel lines. Move fast, Isaac. Aegis 7's looking damn close out there. Got a lot of assault rifle rounds. Let's use that for a bit. Can I turn the lights back on? Oh no, the refill station is locked on. So I'd have to turn off life support. noises. What are the wet noises? Nothing, I guess? Oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Did I get that? That flying thing? I think I did. Oh yeah, there it is. Didn't want it to try turn any more bodies.
sold a gold semiconductor, and I also sold a bunch of stasis packs. They're actually worth, I think, 1250 each. And I had like four or five, so I sold every one except for one. Made maybe like 4000 5000 Um, Yeah, I've got a good amount of money. There's a lot of uh, upgrades I can get that just unlock. Well, they're not actually upgrades. They unlock the ability to spend a node on a special upgrade. And probably none of them are going to be accessible for a while, I'm thinking. Because the one that I, the upgrade that I already got seemed like it was pretty far along in the upgrade tree. So I'm going to ignore those for now and just buy the power node. I think I have two nodes now. Let's go activate the centrifuge. I think I remember this room. Yeah, yeah, I remember this room. It's a decontamination room, and I think we're going to get stuck in it until the decontamination is removed. Engineering deck log, F hollow. Check-in time, 1738 hours. Um, certain zones were checked, conditions subpar, notification filed, comments, more absences. It's not just the unitologists sneaking off or religious exemptions or whatever. We're seeing serious gaps in the rotation. People going on sick with sleep deprivation, self-inflicted injuries, or just disappearing. They go off shift and they don't come back. Someone said the ship's been attacked. Bullshit. We're at the ass end of nowhere. Who'd come all this way to attack a mining ship? And yeah, the captain is dead, but Carmack says one of the bridge staff killed him. I swear to god the rumors on this deck are out of control. Update. Lost contact with the bridge. No rig link, no security hardline. Nothing. Okay, this is beyond rumors. Fuck this. I'm getting out while I still can. I don't know how many nodes you end up getting throughout the game. Like, should I focus on upgrading just a couple weapons or should I try to upgrade everything? I mean, I can only have four weapons in my rotation, in my weapon wheel. I don't remember how many weapons there are in total, but I don't think I'd want to focus on more than just whatever four I can actually access quickly. Maybe just to change things up, because I think when I played Dead Space originally, I stuck with the plasma cutter throughout the whole game. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up getting enough weapons that I can ditch the Plasma Cutter and still have four full slots filled, so maybe I won't upgrade the Plasma Cutter anymore. Assuming we're going to replace it. I'm certainly enjoying using the Pulse Rifle more than the Plasma Cutter, for sure. So maybe let's do that, plus let's try the Ripper as well. First upgrade's damage, that's the best ones. So let's upgrade that from 40 to 50. That's a pretty large increase. Do I want to put another point in that, or should I upgrade my suit? Size. Upgrades to the stasis zone size. 
That'd be nice. What's duration? Oh, stasis duration. Yeah, let's increase the zone size. I guess because I want to get over here to HP. Oh, that made a big difference. I went from 0.75 to 1.25. That's a huge increase. Go get trapped. Shall we start? Decontamination sequence activated. Please stand by. I don't know where the hell they come from. Hello. That wasn't too bad. Decontamination sequence complete. Thank you for your patience. What is what is that weird field? Ugh. What is that? Medium medback schematic. That's where I'm supposed to go, so what is this way? Oh, it's a gigantic ring. Well, this is a centrifuge, so that makes sense. Nude. I love how this fleshy stuff looks. Maybe not the best weapon against those. The Ripper Blade thing, I mean. a bloody hallway. Wait, is this... 
It, mm. Mm. I think I remember this as well. I'm not going to say anything more in case you haven't ever seen this. Rig transcript. Rig unavailable for priority message. Transcript provided to available storage. J Temple. Tai? Jong? You there? Expletive. What's keeping them? The centrifuge is still offline. We're running out of time. C Danvers. No rig league contact since they left, Chief. They're gone, aren't they? J Temple. But we armed them with everything we had. They'd have sent word if there was trouble. What, did they fall down a fucking hole? Fuck, there's a full tectonic load hanging off our ass. C. Danvers. What if we turn off the gravity tethers? Drop the load? Buy ourselves time? J. Temple. I tried. Unless I rip out half the ship's wiring. It takes a CEC board member's override to drop all that ore. Can't risk fucking off the sh uh, pissing off the shareholders. And without that centrifuge to balance the ship, we're talking planet fall in hours, if we're that lucky. Yes. I saw something, where the hell are you? Looking for loot. There's something. Yeah. Oxygen over there. Okay, let's get to work. Wait, nope, I see loot back here. Maybe I need to attach it when it's not really spinning. Yeah. Wait, where is it? Where the fuck did you go? Ah! What the fuck? Ah! 
have a feeling I need to get the hell out of the way now. Generator module attached. Clutch engaged. All personnel clear for centrifuge restart. I don't think I can... No, I can't reach that. Oh, it makes the screen shake every time the arm comes near, doesn't it? Yeah, that's really cool. Manually ignite the engines. Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left oh. is restarting the engine. Ready when you are. Okay, let's let's time this right. Can I slow that down? Probably not. No. Stasis does nothing. Ah. Let's let them get hit. Nah, not going to work. Fuck. Should have stasis them while they were out there. Then they would have gotten hit. Hmm, let's wait. Please let there be air right over here. Yes! Oh man, the time I had that one was tight. What do you bet there's secrets over here if I keep going? I mean, I was just in this area, so no new secrets would appear. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, hello. Yep, here we go. This is what I remembered. Creepy fucking worm thing. Look at it, it's got a bunch of heads. I can't remember if that's the last of the worm or if there's more. I mean, we just cut off a small part of it, right? There's gotta be more. But yeah, that's the thing that made these holes we've been seeing. Warning, orbital position approaching 
critical. Correct course immediately. Do we have to go through decontamination again? Please, please no. Okay, we're fine. Thank God. I think I maybe have a node to use? Yeah, I've got one. Should I go with the Ripper? Let's go with the Ripper. Yeah, you can get a lot of damage upgrades for it. Trying to ignore the banging noises. Actually, is that a thing? Are the banging noises a thing? No, 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 no. It's either the ship fucking with me or the sound of someone getting killed <laughs> traveling through the air vents from some other place that I can't reach. Fan blade looks dangerous. Zero gravity. This is a little grim, but Ew. Yeah, they did exactly what I thought it would. Say, Hammond, I cracked the secure files. DC was here for more than just a mining claim, huh? What do you mean? This outbreak started on the colony, after the miners dug up some artifacts. Something alien. That's impossible. But it would explain why Aegis 7 is meant to be off-limits, right? Earth got orders. When the miners found the artifacts, they reported hallucinations, paranoia, suicides. But the Ishimura brought this marker on board anyway. Like that was a plan. Wait. The marker? Okay, back up. Where's this marker now? In cargo. All packaged up for delivery. Okay, I think we need to use stasis on that fan so that we can get through it. Because there's a red power cable going behind it and we need power. Stasis Reminder. An engine in stasis is a safe engine. I mean, not really. It's been slower, but still fast enough that I think it could chop me up to bits. And the stasis wears off after like seven seconds or something. I wouldn't call that safe. Airlock one, airlock two, and fans. Oh, so we can just turn off the fans. I wonder if it does more damage to hold it out in front of you until it breaks, versus shooting it. I assume it does, otherwise why not just shoot it? It would just be faster. Fucking hell, it's loud in here. Jesus. Can we leave this 
this room, please? I have to, like, yell just to hear myself. Fuck. Oh, my God. What's that? Flamethrower? I didn't even remember that that was a weapon. Unless they've added it and it's a new one. Uh, probably not. It's probably in the original. Yeah, let's equip that. Industrial Hydrazine Torch. Trigger to project flames. The special attack is a firewall and that costs 25 fuel, which is half a magazine. Ooh. Given how good this game looks generally, I bet the fire effects are beautiful. Yep, yeah, that's pretty. Doesn't burn through ammo that fast. I wonder if you catch enemies on fire and they take damage over time. I would assume so. Moist. 